Hey, this is Matt from Investquant. Today is Monday, November 16th, 2020. And this week is Options Expiration Week. So I figured what we would look at this morning is what has happened historically on Monday of Options Expiration Week. So let me set this up and discover, and we'll look at this specific day in a bullish environment. So we're going to look at all four instruments. The setup is going to be based upon getting long at the open of regular trading hours, which is 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. It exits at the close, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, this morning, we are tr currently trading higher. So I'm going to go ahead and add gap up as the gap direction, and you can get more specific in this area. Once we get closer to the open, we know exactly where we're going to be opening at. But I'm going to be a little bit more generic here and simply say gapping up on this specific day. So I've got gap up there. And then next, I'm going to go into indicators, and I'm going to put us in a similar market environment of above a 10-day and above a 200-day simple moving average. Next, I'm going to go to the calendar section. I'm going to say that it is Monday. And lastly, I'm going to go to market events and say that it is the week of OPEX. And that's available right over here on the active today section. We've got week of OPEX. So I'm just going to click on that, and then I'm going to click view results. And here we go. So these are the results of going long on Monday of options expiration week in a bullish environment when you open above the prior day's closing price. So historically, we've got 47 samples in the S&P. We've got 48 in the NASDAQ, 53 in the Dow, and 45 in the Russell. And if we take a look at the win rate, which is telling you how many of these have closed above the opening price, you'll see the S&P is coming in close to 60%. The NASDAQ stronger at about 65%, the Dow fairly strong, 58%, and the Russell, 58%. So all four of these instruments coming in at at least a 58% win rate. The NASDAQ is the strongest of the four, but all four of them are leaning to the long side historically as far as win rate goes uh, for closing above the opening print. But if we look at the average win to average loss, you'll notice the average loss on all of these is larger than the average win. So the average loss, a decent amount larger than the average win in the S&P, uh, quite a bit larger than the average win in the NASDAQ. Uh, it's larger in the Dow than the average win. And in the Russell, the average loss is a good amount larger than the average win. So historically, this day has closed above the open more often than not. But when it doesn't, it has closed uh, below the open by a larger amount than what it has when it closes above the open. So when it's wrong, it's been wrong by more than what it is when it's right. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you next time.